Winston just asked me, Felix, that indicator you use for NVIDIA stock, that seems to be always right. Did you share that with me? And I said, well, why not just share it with everybody, right? So this is an indicator that's, well, nothing is 100% accurate, but it's been surprisingly accurate. And I'll show it to you on the screen here, and I'll walk you through how it's calling the bottom and the top of every single move. And what is it? Well, it's called a fractal dimension indicator. The what exactly? It's based on chaos theory. What exactly? None of this makes any sense. But essentially what it tells you is this. Is the stock following a trend or is the stock consolidating? And if you know that, you now have a fairly good idea of whether the thing is going to keep going up in the case of NVIDIA or whether it's taking a breather, it's lying down like Winston just has. And it's incredibly useful. So I want to walk you through it. I want to show you how you can set it up and how I use it. And then I'll also show you two bonus indicators that will give you even more insight. And of course, this applies to every stock, not just NVIDIA, but NVIDIA has just been you know, rocket ship to the moon. Everyone's wondering, like, how long can this go on for? I've also put together for you a 29 page breakdown of how to read stock charts, how to use them for your benefits. You can make more money. It's completely free of charge. Just go to phoenixfriends.org slash code and you get the full 29 page walkthrough to take you from total beginner to pro. So if you zoom out, what we're seeing on this one here is that we're at a point where the indicator is coming down and that's saying to you, this is more likely going to be a consolidation rather than a move up. And you can pull this up in tradingview.com, which is a free website. I got nothing for, for, for sharing it with you. And there is an indicator that is called fractals. Actually, there are a bunch of them. I'll show you the one that I, that I use. And which is the one that we use? It's called fractals custom periods. I'll put a link down below to the indicator, okay? I think that's the, the easiest thing to do because it's a little hard to find. Fractals, custom periods. And what I've done is when you click on the little tool symbol there next to it, you can change the periods. You could change it to one. If you're a super active trader in and out every single day and you know you just like, you enjoy the, the heart attack, then you could set it to one. I set it to nine because that sort of corresponds with my kind of trading horizon. It's about... A little bit less than a two week horizon. And let me show you, let me just walk you through a couple of these moves here from the last, well, randomly middle of, 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 of last year. So what do you see? Well, let me draw it on here. In red is the thing that calls the bottom. Green is the thing that calls the top, right? That's the idea. So we had red here, entry, exit, made a nice profit. Exit and uh, rather entry, exit, nice profit. Entry, exit, nice profit. Exit, entry, nice profit. Entry, actually, it doesn't call the exit here, but even if you'd waited till it told you to get in again, I mean, you would have made a really, really nice profit on that one. And then when we move up a little bit to the present time, it's calling the top up here at 900 and $80 or something like that. And it's warning you, you're in a consolidation phase. Don't put your money in on this. Now, financial advice, just telling what the indicator is telling you. So it works pretty nicely, right? I think you're with me on that. Bonus, okay? We go into optionswatch.io and we type NVIDIA into it. And I'll put the link down below as well. There's a free 30-day trial. And if you get your pause on that right now, and you decide to stay past the 30 days, you'll actually save $10 because you're still part of the founders tier. And after, I think, the end of the week, prices are going to go up and, and you will be locking in the old price. So it's kind of a zero risk move. You try the free trial. If you like it, you'll save money forever. If you don't like it, then, well, you don't pay anything. This is NVIDIA here. And if we just look at, just say, three weeks out, what do you see? Well, you can see all these green bars and all these red bars. What do they mean? The green bars are resistance, and you can see them here at 900, 950, and 1,000. So you get these resistance lines. I'm going to put them in here in green just to match the color. 
So here, that's resistance. 950 is resistance. 1,000 is resistance. And what happens there? And you get to that price point, there are people called market makers who are on the other side of trades. You make the market, essentially, provide the liquidity. They're forced to sell NVIDIA. And that's why we, when we hit these levels, we drop down, right? We hit them and we, 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 we bounce off them. So that's some insight that almost nobody has, but it gets better. We also have a brand new tool, which is going to get officially released on Tuesday this week. It's called Smart Money Trades. Have you ever wondered, what are those hidden trades that the Wall Street bastards do in dark pools and block trades so you and I can't see them? Well, we pay an arm and a leg for data to get access to that, and we make it available to you. And you can see on the last trading day here, for example, $17 million, $11 million, $7.6 million. I mean, these are, these are big trades, right? This is not, not some nutter on Reddit. This is an institution doing those trades. And are they bullish or bearish? Well, they're actually all pretty bullish. They're all pretty bullish. And, but they're conservatively bullish. So you can click on that here and you can see what's the trade. You can open it in the visualizer and you can see that they are positioned down here at 810. So they're making money anywhere above $912. So it's, it's basically where we're trading right now as I'm recording this. So they are cautiously bullish. They're just saying, I might go up a little but we're not betting on it going like up tremendously because then they would be moving the trade higher up. So the market is optimistic, but at a fairly cautious level. And that's not a bad thing. It's just a kind of temperature gaze, a measure of where we are at right now. Here's another trade. You can see again, they are saying, look, our break even here is for this trade, another 10, $15 million, $890. So it's actually below where the market's trading right now. And they're saying, if it goes up a bit, we'll make some money. So the market, if you take all of that together, the market is basically saying, okay, it's not bad. It's not terrible. It's just the real steam is at the moment not there. Why don't we wait till we get the next buy signal before we do something stupid? That's what I wanted to share with you. So I put all of this down below. Even I'll do one better for you. I actually give you my 29 page Beginner's Guide to Charting. You can download that for free at felixfriends.org slash code. felixfriends.org slash code. And I thank you for watching. I thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, share it. I'd love it. And see you on the next one. Nemechek. And what the heck is Nemechek? Well, let me run you through a few data points first before I tell you what Nemechek is. Cash flow is gr glorious. It's growing insanely. Well, it's the stock's gone up a lot. We don't actually like that, but it's beautifully profitable and it's not cheap. No, it's not.